My name's Don Mabbitt. I'm an acting detective superintendent attached to the Metropolitan South Region and the Regional Crime Coordinator. Can you tell us what's happened today? Yes, this morning a 53-year-old Mackay Island man was arrested on Mackay Island uh, in relation to the investigation to the murder of Mrs Watson on the island back in November last year. He has been charged at the Brisbane City Watch House and will be appearing in court tomorrow morning. What's he been charged with? Uh, one count of murder. And sorry, you said he's at the Brisbane. He has been taken to the Watch House. He's been taken to the Watch House in the city and will be appearing in the Brisbane Magistrates Court tomorrow morning. And what happens at the hearing tomorrow? Uh, he will appear before the magistrate and um, they'll determine what to do from there. What will you police be alleging in this? Look, police will be alleging that he's responsible for the murder of Mrs Watson. There was quite a bit made about the hammer at the time. Is there anything that you can um, elaborate on in that, in that sense about what role the hammer may have made Look, I, I'm not uh, going to elaborate in relation to uh, any of the evidence uh, in relation to that or the hammer, but what I will say is that without the um, continued support of the Maclay Island community, we wouldn't have been able to get to this stage in the investigation or make this arrest. Can you say just how um, overwhelming the community input was in your investigation? You had lots and lots of calls from members of the community. Look, the community in general and in Maclay Island in particular have uh, been very on the front foot of um, phone crime stoppers on many occasions and provided information to us which has subsequently led to uh, this arrest. And you spoke to the family this morning to let them know that, that yes. this had happened? Yes, members of the family have been spoken to and they are very relieved that an arrest has been made. No, I'm not at liberty to confirm who he is until he's appeared in court. Um, can you also, at the time you did speak of um, the, how brutal the death was, are you able to go, to just, um, go over that for us in terms of what, how bad the death was? Look, it, it, it was a, a vicious murder and that's all I'm prepared to say about that, but um, that's, that's exactly what it was. Long investigation, was there one thing that uh, suddenly happened that meant that you could then move towards this arrest today? No, but what happened right from the outset, the proper uh, framework was laid for the investigation uh, by, by the detectives investigating it and also by information coming from the public, as I said, from Maclay Island as well in particular, and that is what has uh, put us in this stage, stage to build on the investigation and make this arrest. And do you, is there any sense from the islanders that, um, that the community is less safe and that this attack has happened? Look, not, not that I'm aware of, and, and I don't think so. Um, and by their community spirit in, in providing information to us, it certainly uh, doesn't appear to be the case. Is this the first murder on the island that you're aware of? That's the first that I'm aware of, that's right, yes. And are you aware of this family that has come out, but the documents that were found, they were actually found prior to Mrs Watson's, um, prior to Mrs Watson's death? Look, I'm, I'm not prepared to to discuss that. I know that's been reported in the media, but I'll, I'll leave that for the court process to bring out. And can you tell us where the man was arrested this morning? He was arrested uh, at a local supermarket mm -hmm. on the island. Um, yeah, that's where he was arrested. Okay. Yeah. Was there a large operation in order to effect that arrest? Uh, we, we had detectives travelling over there today for that purpose. Uh, they encountered him at the supermarket, uh, or outside the supermarket, and that's where the arrest happened. Do you know what time that was? Uh, around about 8.30 this morning.